Okay, our next stop on the CBC Spring Sport Media Day Tour is the Harvey Red Raiders softball team head coach, Betsy Hatta. Coach, welcome, and uh, just give us a quick preview. What can we expect after you lose a couple of generational players in Lola and Alexa? Yeah, well, first off, thank you for having us. Um, I'm here with Alicia Franklin, who's a senior, and Donna Ramirez, who's a junior. Um, well, we're just like every year, just looking to reload and um, build back up what we have, and we're always planning for it from season to season. Alexa and Lola were huge for our program and the legacy that they've left behind, and the leadership, and everything is just passed down every season. Outstanding. All right, Coach, I'll come back to you. Uh, Alyssa, I'll start with you since you were a first-team all-conference infielder last year. So coming in, senior year, how excited are you for another round uh, of softball? Um, I'm really excited, honestly. I'm excited to lead our team and just do good things. And last night, uh, the great performance in the uh, CBC All-Star Basketball game, so congrats <laughs> on that. <laughs> so you had a nice job there, but uh, yeah, just coming in senior year, obviously you're losing Lola and Alexa, who are a big part of the program for the last couple of years, but now it's your turn to step into those shoes. How are you kind of embracing that leadership role and taking on the role that, you know, some of the role that they played in the past? Um, it's going good. I think I just need to honestly, like, I just need to let my teammates trust me and make sure that they know that I'm there for them and I will always support them with every decision they make. And so what, what are you going to play this year? Do you have a set position or are you just going to play all over in the infield? Um, I'm going to be playing third, but if my team needs me at shortstop, I'll be there or just anywhere they need me, I'll be there just to help out. All right. What are you looking at this year's team? What do you think the strength of this year's squad is going to be? I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be awesome, amazing. Just early on, we're just going to be – like, we just need to really just put in the work. Uh, who else is playing the infield with you? Um, I think Donna, it would be, is it Veronica? Veronica. Yeah, Pacheco. Veronica. Yeah, Pacheco. And, um, okay, well, we've got some new players. <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't really oh, discussed yeah. it yet because we haven't had our first scrimmage yet. Um, we're going tomorrow. Um, we've got some young kids. We've got a freshman, Giselle Moreno. Um, Jayla Holloway is a transfer. Um, and then we have a lot of other, um, some depth. We're still trying to figure out first base. Um, we've got some potential there with um, some JV players coming up or some other freshmen that might take some positions um, along the way. But um, returning at second uh, right now would be Veronica Pacheco. Okay. Alicia, back to you. Just, uh, you know, what kind of goals do you have for senior year? What do you want to do individually? And what do you hope your team can accomplish? Um, I would like to go and um, do better at batting, honestly. Like, I know I do good already, kind of. Uh, but I would want to be more disciplined. Honestly, I'm good at that already, but just to stay disciplined. Um, and I would like to steal more bases. You know, I've been doing better on my base running, honestly. I've gotten so much better since my first year playing. Um, how did it get very eager at me anymore? All right. <laughs> well, good luck to you this spring. Donna, on to you. Uh, for the folks at home, introduce yourself. Name, grade, and what positions you're going to play. Um, I'm Donna Ramirez. I'm a junior, and I'm going to be playing short pitching and anywhere else in the infield that they would need me in. Are you going to be the starting pitcher or just throw in some relief innings? Who knows what has me waiting for me, but I'll be there. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I love the attitude. Whatever you need, coach, put me in. I'm ready to play. All right. So good. So let's talk about you as a pitcher first. What, what do you bring to the circle? What kind of pitches do you throw? What kind of uh, how aggressive are you facing batters? That type of thing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have. Can I help you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Donna's pretty new to pitching. Um, oh, okay. She started to throw some innings last year. Um, she throws, she spots her fastball very well, and she's developed a pretty good changeup. Um, she's aggressive. She's not afraid to get on that mound. So she's our most experienced pitcher this year. So um, tomorrow in our scrimmage, the ball's going to be in her hands. 
So Donna, I mean, as a pitcher, you have to have that mental toughness and the way you're talking already, I think you have it, but is that something that, is that a challenge you're ready for just to step in that circle and, and be the one? Um, I think so, yes, because um, I know I'm still really young and I haven't had as much experience, but I'm still, I'm still confident in what I can do for our team. So when you face batters, are you just focused on your pitches or do you really like, well, I know this girl likes to, you know, hit backside or things like that. Do you take all that into account or are you just throwing strikes and trying to get batters out that way? Mm, well, during practice, I've been put in situations. So I think I'll be ready for if a girl can't do this or likes to do this, I'll be ready and have all that information under my belt for it. All right. Who are some of the girls on the team that have been impressive in the preseason? I think our whole team has been really impressive. Um, I think everyone has just been so much better since we started, and I hope to see them grow more. All right, and either of the girls can answer this one or both, whatever, but Harvey's program under Coach Hada has just exploded. I mean, you guys went from, you know, it was, you were like a, a senior day opponent and now you're winning conference titles. What has it been like to be a part of that program and just to see it grow the way it has? You, um, it's been fun. Um, how to, I've learned a lot from her. She's not just like, she's like your parent, honestly. She wants the best out of you. She just always making sure that you're taken well care of and that you got the best of the best, basically. Donna, you want to add something? She's just, she's just there for us all the time. No matter what's going on, she's there. And so it's all our other coaches. They're all there for us. And, well, know, I'll tell you this. What, when coach is telling you guys to work hard, I want you to know she works hard too. She sends so much info promoting the program. So, and that's what it takes. I mean, the kids feed off that. So coach, great job there. But I asked the, the kids for some players that kind of stood out or, you know, that have been impressive. Who has caught your eye in the spring? Um, well, we're, you know, obviously these two, this is why they're here. Um, they've been great leaders for us. Um, but I think we're going to have some surprise kids this season that are very young that nobody knows anything about. So um, it's going to be hard to have a scouting report on our team. So um, just watch. You'll find out who they are. So that influx of talent, is that because people are inspired by the program now? I mean, are you seeing more kids in the youth program playing? Um, yes, our middle school program has expanded. Um, and we also had some girls that were playing baseball in the middle school as well. So um, that That's development awesome. is there in the investment. That's great. How has that kind of helped the program, just knowing that now you ha it's not like, hey, we're a, a, a one or two year wonder, you've got that influx of talent coming in every year. How's that going to impact your program? Um, I think you're going to see the long-term impact. Um, I've got great coaching staff at the high school and at the middle school, and they're bought into that development of our kids and the quality person uh, as well. So um, I think we're going to see the long-term impact and improvement every year. After splitting the conference title last year with Beachwood, I, I, I I have to imagine you guys aren't in the sharing mood this year. So what are your goals and expectations, Coach? We're never in a sharing mood. <laughs> um, our goals this year is to take it game by game, inning by inning, and um, the chips will fall where they will, but we want to be in charge of our own destiny. Outstanding. All right, Coach and ladies, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to preview the season, and best of luck to you this year. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks.